Hello and thanks for watching. OpenAppSec is an open source initiative that builds on machine learning. It provides preemptive web app and API threat protection against OWASP top 10 and zero day attacks. OpenAppSec is designed for simple setup and painless maintenance. Thanks to machine learning, there is no threat signature upkeep and exception handling like common in many WAF solutions. It can be deployed as add-on to Kubernetes Ingress, Engine Eeks, Envoy, and API gateways. In this tutorial, we will show how to protect web applications and APIs in Kubernetes in just a few minutes. We will use a demo web application called Acme Audit that has multiple security vulnerabilities. You will learn how to attack the application by performing a SQL injection, a simple attack just for demo purpose. Deploy OpenAppSec for Kubernetes Ingress and protect it. Attack the application again to see that the protection is effective. And finally, connect your deployment to the SaaS web-based management. By the way, you can run this tutorial yourself by choosing the Playground option at the top menu of OpenAppSec.io website. Let's start. Acme Audit application is vulnerable to a SQL injection attack that allows bypassing its authentication mechanism. Let's try to take advantage of this and log in without having an account. I click here to launch the application. First, let's try to log in with an arbitrary username and password. This fails. I will use a string that will trigger a SQL injection. As you can see, the application is vulnerable. I was able to log in and reach some confidential info. Let's deploy OpenAppSec and protect the application. First, I will download the install script from downloads.openappsec.io. I run the script with the dash dash prevent option for the purpose of this demo, as usually you would start in learn mode to allow the ML engine to learn the traffic patterns. I am going to go with the default option, which is duplicating the existing ingress and adding OpenAppSec on top of it. The configuration tool suggests a default policy that protects all namespaces and ingress rules and send 403 HTTP error code in case an attack is blocked. Again, I will go with the defaults. I choose to save the policy into a manifest file in YAML format. The installer suggests to deploy the Helm chart of the software in the relevant configuration files. OpenAppSec uses Kubernetes custom resources for the policy and configuration. This way you can use standard commands such as kubectl to view and manipulate objects. The resources are documented in docs.openappsec.io. As seen here for every resource you can find both specifications and examples. The installation completed. Let's check that it's OK and try to run the attack again. I browse to Acme Audit application again and try to enter the attack string. This time the attack is blocked by OpenAppSec and I get a 403 HTTP error code. OpenAppSec writes logs to STD out, which allows to see them using kubectl logs and also redirecting them using FluentD to ELK or other events repository. At this point, I have a working deployment of OpenAppSec. I can manipulate the policy using custom Kubernetes resources and obtain logs. As the policy is available as code, I can store it in Git and deploy using our CICD process. In the next step, we will connect the deployment to the central SaaS-based management, which provides policy editing using web user interface and advanced situational awareness tools that are useful for large deployments. I browse to my.openapsic.io and sign up using my GitHub account. This is OpenAppSec Management Portal. I check this box because I already have an agent deployed and create a Kubernetes profile that will represent my cluster. The on-screen instructions are advising to enforce the policy. I copy this CLI command, which includes a token to create a secure communication channel between the OpenAppSec deployment and the cloud. I paste it here in the Kubernetes console and wait.
That's it, my deployment is now centrally managed. Let's go back to the management portal and see the policy that I defined before, using Kubernetes custom resources, visualized in the web user interface. You can see here the default asset that covers all traffic. Here are the security settings. The last step is to see how logs are visualized in the web UI. I will repeat the same drill of triggering and SQL injection attack. Let's observe the event. I choose monitoring in the portal main menu. This dashboard provides at a glance traffic statistics and information about attacks. I can drill down by clicking on any of the widgets to see the actual events. The table shows the relevant events. For each event, I can see further details such as the HTTP request details, attack source, attack type and payload that triggered detection. I can also track the learning process, but more on that in another tutorial. In this scenario, you experienced hands-on how to protect apps and APIs by adding AppSec to a Kubernetes ingress. In a real-world scenario, you would probably run open AppSec for a few hours to see that everything is fine. In case you choose to duplicate your ingress, like I did, you can change your DNS setting to point to the protected Kubernetes ingress and take down the previous ingress. For more information, see the product documentation or join the OpenAppSec community in openappsec.io. Thank you and stay safe.